Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Part of our effort here with Single Best Idea is to start strong the day before and lining up the ducks across three hours. Booking the quality of talent that we have is a full-time job. We've got three people on our staff working on booking. We've had the advantage this summer of three interns helping out. That pairs down to one intern as we go into the school season. But they're on the phones. It looks like a call-a-thon for public television. They're on the phone building out the show. Today was a perfect example of the excellence of NVIDIA. Ed Ludlow with his fabulous one-hour special uh, last night on NVIDIA where there were problems on the conference call and the stock moved off the conference call. So Ludlow had a reconference call that went worldwide on NVIDIA. That's the quality of Bloomberg uh, technology. Our people, uh, led by uh, Giuseppe, our people, uh, started with Dan Ives, and then we had Gil Luria, and we had Gene Munster on this madness about uh, NVIDIA. Ives is a bull. Let's listen. From Wedbush. So essentially, Blackwell is almost the architecture, the foundation of a house. Microsoft is the actual house. The actual rooms will be different software players, ServiceNow, you know, called Salesforce and others. What protects the house? Cybersecurity, names like Palo Alto and others. Look, I continue to think, NVIDIA today, it's LeBron in high school. That's essentially (laughs) where, they are LeBron in high school. (laughs) NVIDIA, that's where they are. Dan Ives there, uh, I I knew who LeBron was. It was was like early morning joke. It wasn't funny in the 9 a.m. hour, but it worked for Dan Ives. Uh, in uh, the seven. Gil Luria is, frankly, is optimistic on what NVIDIA is doing. He has trouble with the valuation, particularly out three years. Gil Luria of DA Davidson. The short answer is yes, but boy, what an impressive trick. (laughs) Uh, Let's let's not forget that without NVIDIA, we wouldn't have all the exciting generative AI conversations that we're having now. Uh, Mr. Wong and NVIDIA are responsible for the AI revolution as much as Mr. Musk and Tesla are responsible for the EV revolution. In the in the annals of history, that's how they will be remembered. It is a very impressive trick. Having said that, having 99% of your sales come from non-recurring uh, hardware sales, it, it, it does not justify the types of valuation NVIDIA is carrying right now. Galeria with a neutral, very rare neutral. There's like 60-something buys, and I think it's eight neutrals right now. But good to get his voice in there. Dan Ives and Gil Luria. Finally, uh, out of Piper Jaffray years ago with uh, Loop, uh, Gene Munster joins us here. We went bigger and broader. We'd already covered all the details with Ives and Luria, and we knew we were going to talk about the call with Ed Ludlow. So we went bigger and broader. Here's Gene Munster out years. How I think about it is just what's the long term? You got to think the long term play and there's the near term and that's what's the vortex that's going around NVIDIA today. And um, I generally uh, react to a view of where the world is going. In the case of with NVIDIA, it's a belief, a strong belief. I'm staking my career that AI is going to be a bigger, having a bigger impact than the internet. And uh, the reason why I still am comfortable and think of this in that same class as Apple and and Microsoft is that ultimately is if you believe that AI is going to be as transformative, uh, more transformative than the internet. Uh, and uh, there's a second belief you have to have is that the way to get there is through scaling laws, which basically say you have to throw more compute and data at the problem to solve for intelligence. Then NVIDIA is going to be a winner. I do want to add an additional angle to uh, the context of just buy and hold forever is that uh, Deepwater, we own NVIDIA. I think the next two years are going to be far better than what people are expecting today. But at some point, when you're a hardware-only company, there is a point of deceleration that needs to be taken into consideration. And I think that um, two years, three years from now, it, this may be a position that we'll trim. But uh, we think today is the time to own it. Part of my fossildom is forgetting the three employees ago where they worked. Gene Munster with Deepwater not with Loop, where he was a number of years ago. And, of course, that's just I'm so happy with the idea of Dan Ice, Gil Luria, and uh, Gene Munster uh, together. We're out on YouTube. It has been a record August for us 
on this new technology. Subscribe to Bloomberg Podcasts at YouTube. Thank you so much, particularly the international audience we didn't expect. Boy, is it there. Also, out on Android Auto, on Apple CarPlay. I know Apple CarPlay in 20 countries as well. It's not just a domestic uh, thing. Sort of breaking onto the weekend. I'll be here tomorrow. John Tucker will be here uh, tomorrow. Or, you know, I, Some of the team will be here. We're forcing the interns to come in. On Apple Podcasts, it's single best idea. <laughs>